Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel The Informant. If you are new to this channel, let me just remind you that we make videos related to online services, education, placement drives and many more. If you have not subscribed our channel yet, please do hit the red button so that you get latest notifications first on your screen. So as you all know, our today's topic is about how to withdraw PF amount from EPFO portal. Many of you will not be knowing that you can actually withdraw your PF amount whenever you require like it's called PF advance and you need to withdraw by filling a certain form. So you might be thinking PF amount is like for after retirement or uh, you know future not no. But uh, you know you can withdraw your PF amount now itself and you, you can invest in any other forms you want because the interest you get from PF EPFO it's very less and your amount is like you know it's like in a bank account and it's of no use. So if you want to use it in a right way you can you know withdraw if, or in case of any emergencies obviously you can withdraw your PF amount and you can utilize it. So in this video we'll be showing you the process how to withdraw it from the EPFO portal and also before that before withdrawing you need to add your bank account you need to do your U UN activation. So that is our previous videos we have explained like how to you know uh, log in sign up for this EPFO portal and activate your UN. I'll be giving those videos links in the description if you have not done, done the initial process. If you have already signed up to the EPFO portal, the next step is you need to you know upload your KYC documents like you know bank account, PAN card and other documents. So that we'll be showing in this video and in how many days your PF gets deposited to your bank account and what is the you know complete process to withdraw this PF amount. Each and every step will be showing in this video. So please stay tuned till then so that you, you don't miss any important information. Let's start our today's video. First of all you need to log in into the EPFO portal. If you want we can give you this link in the description. You can directly click that link and you'll land into this page. So after you log in into the EPFO portal you can see the interface and in the right side you can see UN password and captcha. So as I told if you have already signed up you'll be having this UN password. If you don't have the password you can always recover it it's not an issue if you don't have your e uan number itself then you can find it in your salary slip right or you can ask your hr if you find difficulty finding this uan number and you need to activate the uan you can see down here itself activate uan second option so you need to activate the uan first you for this you can watch our previous video if i've already activated your, your un just enter your un password captcha and you'll log in so after you log in you can see there is uh, there are four or five options above in the taskbar that is home view manage account and online services in the manage option there is option called kyc you need to go and click on that option kyc when you click on kyc you can see currently active kyc over here right there you can see which all documents which you have already submitted to the epfo portal for example your bank account your pan card your passport you know other kyc documents so for withdrawal of this uh, pf amount you need to have active kyc documents such as your bank and pass uh, bank account and pan card so these two documents are very important if you have already added you can directly proceed to the withdrawal if you have not added this you can add this bank and passbook so for example uh, i had added my pan card but i did not add my bank account details so i have added i'll show you see uh, if you click on bank account bank above option in the green so name as per bank account you add all your bank account details your account number your uh, ifsc code and everything then you click on save button after you click on save button see uh, you need to authenticate using your other link mobile number so this is your current bank account it will take a few days to you know add this bank account as it will get verified from your bank account only for from your banker once if if not in some cases it gets verified from both your employee and the banker right in my case it was only from the banker so after getting verified from the banker this bank account got added into my epfo portal right now as you can see the status approved approved and 
what documents I have bank account and PAN card details right if I have to approve bank account and PAN card details that means I'm good to go for the withdrawal right yeah so next I'll show you how to withdraw after adding your bank account from in the KYC option you need to go to the online services as you can see in the screen online services there you can see claim form number 31 19 10 and 10 D so click on this claim option in the online services option after you click on claim option you know this portal comes like this here I want to apply for I have hidden this uh, few things due to privacy concern I'll explain you what you need to select I want to apply for what you want to PF advance that will option will coming select service select service is uh, which uh, you know which company PF amount you are withdrawing here example you have switched two to three companies so it will be you know separately showing there you can select whichever amount you want to withdraw and purpose for which advance is required there will be five six options like illness or like marriage or higher studies you know uh, if you give those things you need to give some relevant proof but here if you give illness uh, it would be better you can uh, you know easily withdraw without any proof as I did so give you can give illness and you can give the amount which you require and here while entering the amount please be careful because it is like example you are having 50,000 in your PF account right and you are giving like 20,000 you require 20,000 but the actual amount which you'll get is only approximately 10 to 12,000 they will not give entire amount requested by you so always give the maximum amount which you have like if you have 50,000 give 50,000 itself then you can get like 25 to 30,000 right and employee address you, can, you need to give your employee address and scan copy of checkbook or passbook you need to upload one PDF after uh, uploading that uh, PDF of scanned copy you need to click on the submit button over here so this was the end of this process after this it will take around three to four days working days uh, for the PF amount to get deposited into your bank account I hope you guys are clear with this process if you guys have any doubt in this last last section you know selecting the reason uh, or like which form to select which service to select you can always drop down in the comment section or you can you know uh, drop your comments in our telegram channel if you want to share any screenshots i'll give the link in the description we will solve your problem as soon as possible thank you for watching our today's video i hope you find this content informative if you like our content please do like share subscribe and stay tuned thank you Thank you.